Let's look at the following example that will deal with standing waves on a instrument that uses strings. A certain violin, which is the stringed instrument, has a string that has a length of 40 centimeters and produces a frequency of 400 hertz. Now we have two parts to our example. In part A, we want to calculate the wavelength of the oscillation assuming n equals 1. So assuming this is the fundamental frequency. In part B, what is the frequency and wavelength of the sound wave produced by the oscillating string assuming the temperature of air is 0 degrees Celsius. So let's begin with part A. To calculate the wavelength of the oscillation, we have to use this uh, equation. This equation gives us a relationship between the harmonic number and the wavelength at that harmonic number and the length of our string. So we essentially rearrange our equation and we solve for the wavelength at the nth harmonic. Now because n is equal to 1, this becomes 1 and this becomes 1. And the wavelength at the first harmonic is equal to 2 multiplied by the length of the string 40 centimeters. So 2 multiplied by 40 centimeters gives us 80 centimeters. So that means the wavelength is 80 centimeters. Now let's move on to part B. In part B we want to find the frequency and the wavelength of the sound wave produced by our standing wave by our oscillating string. So, let's suppose we have the violin and these are our two fixed positions on our vibrating string. So because n is equal to 1, that means the diagram of the standing wave looks like this. So the standing wave vibrates with a certain frequency and that vibrating standing wave forces the air molecules surrounding our standing wave to vibrate with the same exact frequency. So oscillation of the standing wave causes surrounding air molecules to vibrate with the same exact frequency. So the frequency of the sound wave that is produced by the standing wave is exactly the same. So the frequency is 400 hertz. Now, what about the wavelength? Well, recall the velocity of a sound wave, of a mechanical wave in air at 0 Celsius is equal to 331 meters per second. So we can use this equation to solve for the wavelength. The wavelength of the sound wave in the air, in the surrounding air, is equal to the ratio of the velocity in the air divided by the frequency. So velocity is 331 meters per second and the frequency is given to be 400 hertz. So we get a value of 0 0.8275 meters or equivalently 82.75 centimeters. So the question is, the standing wave that is produced on the violin has a wavelength of 80 centimeters, but our sound wave produced as a result of the standing wave has a wavelength that is greater by 2.75 centimeters. Why is that? Well, that's because the velocity of our wave, of the standing wave in the string is different than the velocity of our mechanical sound wave produced in the air. And because of this difference in velocities, there will be a difference in wavelength, even though the frequency of the standing wave and the frequency of the sound wave are exactly the same.